The path bar is an option in the finder that will display the full path to the current folder. Under the view menu in the finder I can turn the path bar on and off. Every path begins at your Mac's hard drive. In my case, that's named Mac Pro RAID. From there it shows each folder in the hierarchy all the way to my current location in the finder. At the moment I'm four layers deep in my documents folder. If I move deeper into a folder one, and so on, the path gets longer. This provides a nice visual way to see where I am in the finder. Double click any of the folders in the path bar to open that folder. By right or control clicking on a folder in the path bar, I can open that folder, open its enclosing folder in a new window, or do a git info command for that folder. So if I want to move this sample letter file from folder 5, where it's located now, down into folder 3, I'll right click on folder 3 and choose open and Clo closing folder. Now I can just drag the file to the new window and into folder 3. I can also move files by just dragging and dro dropping them onto the path bar. If I want to move the references document into folder 2, I can just drag it down to the path bar and release when I'm over folder 2. Where I find the path bar most useful is after a spotlight search. If I search for my references document in spotlight and choose to show all results, I find two different files with the same name. The quickest way to figure out which is which is to click on them and see where exactly they reside on my hard drive by looking at the path bar. I can see that this is the same document I just moved to folder 2, and the other is in an older resumes folder. So the path bar can kind of help you get your bearings after a spotlight search by showing you where exactly on your hard drive the file you just searched for is located.